Hello students, welcome to chemistry classes. So, under this P block elements, now we are going to discuss the unique character of carbon. Carbon is a important component of a living system as well as non-living systems. Carbon being the first member of group number 14. So, many unique chemical characteristic properties as well as it forms large number of allotropic forms. One of the peculiar characteristic property of carbon is its catenation. Catenation is a process in which the property of forming a self binding carbon carbon single bond or carbon carbon chain formation. So, due to the self bonding tendency of carbon with other carbons, it leads to large number of hydrocarbons and other organic compounds. So, because of its catenation, carbon atoms can link with each other to form a large variety of compounds that is the linear chain compounds, branched chain compounds, closed chain compounds and aromatic compounds. Linear chain compounds, branched chain compounds, uh, closed chain compounds and aromatic compounds. The tendency of catenation always depends upon the nature of the bond, M M bond. As we do, as we move down the group, the strength of M M bond decreases due to the increasing the size of an atom. The bond enthalpies of uh, this elements of group number 14, carbon carbon single bond, the bond enthalpy is 348 kilo joule per mole. And, uh, SI SI single bond 297 kilo joule per mole germanium germanium single bond 260 kilo joule per mole and SN SN single bond uh, 240 kilo joule per mole the tendency of catenation decreases from carbon to tin carbon to tin and this compounds forms or uh, this carbon poses greater tendency to form the double bond, triple bond, carbon oxygen double bond, carbon sulfur double bond, etc. So, this uh, carbon poses greater tendency to form the multiple bonds, multiple bond compounds. The multiple bond compounds are formed by uh, this overlapping of the atomic orbitals. The single bonds are formed by linear overlap of atomic orbitals and the other, other pi bonds are formed by lateral overlap or sideways overlap of atomic orbitals. So, then I have the allotropies of form carbon. What is allotropy? The different forms of same element having different physical properties but almost similar in chemical properties. Simply say same chemical or similar chemical properties differ in their physical properties are called the allotropy. Carbon shows different allotropy forms, especially graphite, diamond, buckminster pullerins are the some of the uh, classification of its allotropy form. First of all, carbon exists as two different allotropy forms, as, uh, majorly a crystalline form as well as amorphous form. Diamond and graphite are two crystalline forms of carbon having well defined structure. Amorphous uh, crystalline means it shows regular geometry, sharp melting and boiling point. Amorphous form. There are many amorphous forms of carbon such as coal, wood charcoal, animal charcoal, lamb black, gold, gas, carbon, etc. Of this allotropy form, diamond and graphite are most important and it is industrially important allotropy forms of carbon. Structure of diamond and graphite. Both diamond and graphite are crystalline in nature and this uh, diagrammatic representation you may refer your text. Diamond is denser than graphite. Diamond is the strongest material while graphite is a soft material uh, because the density of diamond is 3.514 gram per centimeter cube while the graphite is 2.226 gram per centimeter cube. 
Diamond is a hard material while graphite is a soft material. Graphite has lubricating properties. On other hand, diamond is the hardest substance known. I already told you the diamond is the very very hardest materials we know. Diamond is a bad conductor of heat and electricity because of its uh, structural arrangement, tetrahedral, regular tetrahedral arrangement, there will be no mobilization of electron inside the crystal structure, it does not conduct heat and electricity. But graphite is the only non-metal which uh, conduct heat and electricity because of their planar arrangement. The different properties of diamond and graphite are ex explained based on their structure. First of all, the structure of diamond. Diamond has a network structure consist of large, very large number of carbon atoms bonded to each other. So, I already told you the regular tetrahedral geometry with sp3 hybridized state. A hybridized state. So, the, all the valence electrons or carbon are strongly held in carbon-carbon bonds. Diamond is a poor conductor of electricity. Uh, structure of graphite. In graphite, each carbon atom undergo sp2 hybridization and its covalency bond in to three other carbon atoms by single bonds. The fourth electron on each carbon atom results in the formation of pi bonds. In this way, graphite consists of hexagonal planar rings the hexagonal planar arrangement and this uh, poor pose of attraction, the weak van der Waal pose of attraction between the hexagonal rings and uh, this molecule or the graphite molecules become very soft in nature. So, the conductivity, the electrons forming pi bonds in the rings of graphite are delocalized and relatively free to move under the influence of electric field. So, the pre electron, pi electrons freely moves inside the crystal lattice. Therefore, graphite acts as a very good conductor of heat and electricity. So, now we are going to discuss some comparison prop between diamond and graphite. First of all, density, I already told you this graphite is less denser while the graphite is uh, diamond is more denser and hard and soft nature diamond is very hard material graphite is a soft material and uh, because of its softness it acts as a lubricate uh, having lubricating properties conductivity Graphite acts as a very good conductor of electricity because it is a non-metal and the allotropy form of carbon and uh, diamond is a bad conductor of heat and electricity. The last is reactivity. In diamond, all the four valence of carbons are satisfied by bonds with other carbon atoms. Therefore, di diamond is extremely reactive under room temperature. So, the graphite on other hand it react more readily due to the presence of the pi bond. Now, the uses of diamond, uh, due to its hardness it is used for cutting glass, making bores for rocks, drilling for making abrasives, for sharpening hard tools. Due to its brilliance, diamond is used in jewelry as a precious stone. It is used for grinding and polishing hard materials. Diamond is also used for making dyes for drawing uh, thin wires from metals. It is used in the manufacture of tungsten filaments for electrical light bulbs. Uses of graphite, it is, is a very much useful for making electrodes in electroplating process. It is used in the lubricant for heavy machines running at high temperature while oil cannot be used as a lubricant. It is used in the manufacture of crucibles while can withstand high temperature. Mixed with wax or clay, graphite is used for making lead pencils. Graphite is also used as a moderator for fast moving neutrons in atomic reactors. So, I hope all this understood each and every people. Thank you.